Hi, Stacey. How are you? Hi. Good, Tatiana. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. So, you know, I binged the whole first season of Sex Life. Amazing. And, and I was like, you know what? I, I, I heard that it's based on a book. Let me, let me find out what this is about. And I haven't read it yet, but what I was reading about it, it seems like it's maybe a really lighthearted comedic take on the memoir. So I was wondering what was behind the much more psychological exploration, if you will. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, it, it's inspired by the book. And, and you know, I really um, connected on a very personal level with the idea of a wife and mom who can't stop thinking about her her wild child single girl in the city days and and is longing for this other version of herself you know um but uh but but yeah then i it's the setting is is different and the and a bunch of the players are new and yes all the drama that ensues after her husband reads her journal which really becomes like this pandora's box <laughs> you know um and uh and 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 the love triangle that develops too Definitely. Um, now, Sarah does such a great job of encapsulating both those sides of Billy and making them feel like they are one person. Um, so what was it about her? Or what qualities did she bring that really made her right for the part? Yeah, well, Sarah, you know, she really fought for this role. And I always say, you know, uh, an actress of Sarah's caliber doesn't always audition for roles anymore. But Sarah not only came into audition, she went back to the casting director on her own because she was not satisfied with her audition. And she retaped wow. several times, I think, because she connected so personally with the material. And she was like, I am Billy, this is me. And, and I need to show you how. And I think, you know, Sarah is so gorgeous that you just cannot take your eyes off of her when she's on screen. But the most beautiful part about her really is her soul because she, she really wears her heart on her sleeve. There's so much vulnerability and emotion that helps you get inside Billy's head and, and, and hopefully, you know, brings the audience along on this, on this journey with her. Absolutely. Um, now I read that all the directors and most of the writers are women. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Um, I so really love the idea of capturing the female gaze and really focusing on this like like marital issues and a woman's, you know, exploration of herself through a woman's eyes. So why was it so important to you and how do you think it changed the approach to the story? Yeah, well, you know, it's a woman's story. It's Billy's journey and and it's um and it's her experience. So it was really important for us to to do it from that perspective. You know, I often say that films and TV that even the ones that are about sexuality and desire, it's very often about the kind of sex that the man likes and whether or not the woman will agree to like that kind of sex. But, but this is about the kind of sex that we want, that we've had, that we dream of having again, that we dream of having if we've never had it, you know, right. even better than we've ever had it. And, um, and, and it was really important to, to, to feel that on a very visceral level to understand what it is that Billy is missing and why it is that this man and this time in her life and this version of herself is, 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 is so present for her still and why she's missing it so much. Um, and, and then, you know, we, yes, we had all female directors and an intimacy coordinator and, um, and it's, you know, it, it's really about her experience. And so the camera you know, hangs on the male bodies instead of on, you know, her body. Usually the woman is the one who's objectified, but we sort of have a healthy dose of objectifying and fetishizing <laughs> the, the men in this piece. So it's, it's time, you know, we've turned the tables. True. It's 2021. It's time. <laughs> uh, now, finally, I love uh, Sasha. And I think uh, that uh, Margaret plays her so well. I was just wondering, um, are you hoping for a second season? Is there any parts of her life that you'd like to explore? Because she's like on the opposite side of the spectrum. Totally. I mean, we're absolutely hoping for a second season. I also have a Sasha Snow spinoff that I think we could do. <laughs> um, but I, I think Margaret's incredible. I think this is her star is born moment. I think she's just such a smart and, and, and talented um, actress. But yeah, I think, you know, everybody has that uh, that origin story of what has made you who you are. And I think that Sasha is such an unapologetic woman that it would be really exciting to get to understand how did she come to be that way. Well, thank you so much. I really enjoyed the series and I can't wait for thank everyone to you. see it. Have a great thank day. Thank you so much, Tatiana.